for more on how the market is reacting to what we heard from the Fed today, we want to bring in Kirk Hartman. He's a president and global chief investment officer at Wells Fargo Asset Management. And Kirk, let's just start with what we did hear from the Fed. Brian just breaking that down for us, saying that the Fed pledging to keep rates low, asset purchases there until the economy makes, quote, substantial future progress on the labor market and also in relation to its inflation goals. How is the market, how are investors viewing or how should they view what we just heard from the Fed? Well, I think the market is extremely pleased. I mean, the Fed purchase uh, announcement that they would conti- continue to purchase $120 billion a month, to me, is significant. Um, th- the concern is that the markets seem to be uh, absolutely priced for perfection. The markets clearly expect uh, next year that the S&P is going to hit 4000 and uh, you know that would be another uh, up 10%. Uh, the market is clearly anticipating that the rollout of the vaccine will go smoothly. And the market is clearly anticipating that uh, earnings surprises from corporations uh, will continue to be maintained. And, um, you know, I hope all those things continue. Um, but, uh, you know, you do have to uh, have a little bit of concern about risk, uh, given where these markets are. And when you hear Jay Powell say, as, as you know, Brian was just pointing out, the next four to six months will be dark. Are investors uh, making a mistake right now, dismissing that warning as they pour into this market? I don't think they're missing a warning, but I do think you have to be concerned. And uh, to me, what you have to distinguish is a uh, professional investor uh, is always worried about risk. So um, as good as these markets are, I think you have to have uh, one eye on uh, the risk factor. Uh, my recommendation would be, given all the stimulus, the bond purchase, uh, the maintenance of rates at zero, um, I think you are going to get a boost uh, in the markets at the beginning of the year. Uh, and my recommendation would be, once you get that boost, uh, then I would look to pair it back. But um, it's hard to argue with these fundamentals here. There's so much money in the system. And clearly, uh, the Fed uh, indicated today that it was going to continue. With all that in mind, then, Kirk, you're saying markets priced to perfection, although we could see a boost here, at least at the start of next year. How should investors be positioned? Meaning, what do you see, I guess, leading us higher here, at least in the short term? And then how, how should investors hedge some of that risk? Well, I think you, what you want to look for is a rotation to the cyclical. So um, I don't think you want to sell your technology stocks, but I certainly wouldn't uh, look to overweight them anymore. Um, I do think you have to look at things uh, in the beginning of the year when the markets run of raising more cash or you know, maybe doing something like after the markets uh, uh, start to run, look at uh, out of the money you know, uh, puts on the S&P, uh, those kind of uh, mechanisms. Um, and I think you, you need to diversify. And um, the thing that I worry about, the biggest risk in my mind in everybody's portfolio is duration. Everybody has long duration tech stocks and everybody has a lot of bonds, which are long duration. So uh, to me, the wild card here could be um, a surprise in terms of a rising uh, you know, inflation. Healthcare costs are going up, housing costs are going up. And the other thing that uh, gave me a little bit concerned today in the comments was, um, I think entitlement spending uh, will continue to go up, especially if uh, unemployment, uh, high levels of unemployment are persistent. So uh, something's got to give. But, uh, you know, so far it looks pretty good. When, when you say diversify, can you help us understand what that would look like in today's terms? Should we be looking as part of that maybe, you know, corporate debt uh, that would yield higher than, say, treasuries? What, what does that look like? Well, I think you want to look at uh, short dated corporates. Um, I think you want to look at um, other uh, areas. For instance, uh, I think I would anticipate a weaker dollar. So I think that, uh, interestingly, uh, areas outside of the U.S. Uh, are going to look pretty good. And um, I think um, what I, I think is a key measure to me are, are the 494 stocks other than the big five and now Tesla are uh, going to continue to catch up. So uh, that's the area I would probably, I would overweight the 494 and probably underweight the big six, which has really uh, been the ones that are powering the market. 